it's not going to be possible to constantly check your calendar. So that's where short-term perspective memory strategies come in. Writing on your hand or your wrist is one strategy. You can leave yourself a voicemail or send yourself a text in an email. When I send myself an email, I like to put the reminder in the subject line and then keep the email unread so, it's, so it stays bolded and it really stands out. And this is where I've sent myself an email to remind myself to reschedule an appointment. You can also set an alarm or a timer, whether it's on your kitchen stove or your microwave or even your cell phone. If you have a smartphone that recognizes voice commands, you can even tell it what to do. Remind me to turn off the oven in 20 minutes. Here's your reminder. Shall I create it? Visual imagery is a great tool for short-term perspective memory. Remember, the weirder, the funnier, the more detailed, the better. Let's say I always forget to turn off the lights when I leave a room. If I imagine every doorknob as a light bulb, and I imagine burning myself on the hot light bulb every time I turn the doorknob to leave the room, the more I practice thinking about that image, the more I'll see the light bulb in my mind every time I see a doorknob. And that'll remind me to turn off the lights. Talking to yourself about the consequences of forgetting can be a great reminder as well. If I don't get gas on my way home, then I'm going to have to do it either after dinner or I'm going to have to get up really early in the morning to do it. A can't miss reminder, like writing on your hand or a big sticky note on your steering wheel could also help remind you. One of my favorite CogSmart strategies is to put a bag on the doorknob with what you need to take with you the next day. So I need this notebook and my day planner for tomorrow, so I can put it in a bag. And then I'll hang it on the doorknob so that I won't forget it. 